Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a diabolical couple in love that loves reacting to some Diablo 4. Yeah, we do. So this is Diablo 4, a Vessel of Hatred, official cinematic trailer. And uh, if you want all of our Diablo reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. Uh, we've checked out cutscenes from the different games, trailers. Uh, we played Diablo before it, uh, we started this channel. We played Diablo. Um, I can't remember which game it was. I think it might have been Diablo 2. Um, but yeah, anyways. So are you ready to do this? So ready. Vessel of Hatred, I mean, damn, mm -hmm. quite the title. Likely mature? Hmm. Oh, dead fish. Boy, young one. Are you all right? No, definitely not. Oof. Mirel? Oh, you're not well. Please, 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 my child, let me help you. No. Oof. Mirel, is that how I raised you? No, mother. Crystal's talking to her. But, but I must carry this burden alone. I must get to Akarat's tomb. But look at you. You're killing yourself. I... I don't know how much longer I can... Shh. I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> I missed you so much. I'm so proud of you. It's gonna cut something really no, creepy. I mm -hmm. need you to give up. Huh. No, no, no. Of course Ooh. it's you. You must Let go of me! Let's go. No. You made a choice. And I warned you, little magpie, there would be consequences. Oh! Nightmare fuel. Maybe you're right. Don't, don't turn around. Maybe I could use some help. Oh. Hey, buddy. You okay? Eldorado? <laughs> I was like a Lord of the Rings. So like... Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, horrific. Um, the most horrific part is she's got all got to row herself all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The visuals in this were... I mean, this was a really intense trailer to watch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Diablo's some dark shit. All right, we've seen it, we, we've seen it before, but like, I don't remember it being this graphic and this like this disturbing. I mean, where she's like all of different, I don't know, like bodies all spread out, and she's like in this. Uh, like, it kind of reminded me, like, I don't know, it's something of, uh, like, Nightmare on Elm Street, but, like, with that updated graphics. Like, original Nightmare on Elm Street, not, like, the the latest one they did. But um, that one part where Freddy Krueger's got, like, the... 
it was in Nightmare on Elm Street three, and he's dangling the guy like a like a puppet master or whatever. Um, mm. And it's like like it's like his veins or whatever that have been mm-hmm. or tendons that have been popped out. That's the kind of image that I was that I was getting. But it's like you know horror. What I love about what they did with it is is like you see her in that circle in that in that state, and it is so horrific. And then like they zoom out, and of course you're you're like dreading what's going to come next. Mm-hmm. Like what's the next thing we're going to see? And the subtlety of just like, I can only think of them as like air sacs in your lungs because that's what it seemed like. Of like yeah. those things kind of like, oh yeah, the collective breath in and they expand and then out and then the reveal behind her. I mean, like, it was just, it was done so well to hold us as the audience in suspense and dread and terror because. Mm-hmm. I don't think revealing him would have been as effective if it was straight from the horror of what she had has is, is actually going through. Yeah. Straight up to him. But like giving us that space and then like, oh, we're coming out of it. Okay, we can like maybe we can take that collective sigh of relief that we're getting away from this terror, but then no, like he's there <laughs> and he's monstrously huge. Yeah. Um and a great job because like you even though you knew where it was going. Like, you're just like, you're like, okay, like, this is not really her mom or like, mom talking to her. Uh, something horrible is about to happen here. Even when you knew, like, when she turned around, like, something horrible is going to, like, happen to that. Like, I didn't know if something horrible was going to happen to that guy or if, like, he would be, like, a monster itself and it would just been like, like, he's a monster. And then, like, it cuts, it cuts away. Even though you kind of knew something was coming, like, when it happened, it's still, del- like, it still had to, like, it's, it's almost harder because you know something's coming. You're expecting it. So... It's harder to get a, a, a reaction and an emotion out of, out of you um, and elicit that horror and that terror when you're ex- kind of expecting it. Um, it's you know it's better than a, than a jump scare like you know where it just com- comes out you know it's like oh I, I didn't expect that coming. Um, I almost like yeah I like this better like you know it's gonna come. There's nothing you can do to stop it. And you're still gonna be horrified. Yeah, I mean again it was just like more evidence of them taking their time. Like we expect the jump scare right? Like that's what you get in the horror movies like. Oh no! Something yeah, bad is going to yeah. come. We're going to jump to the other side of the camera and see what really is there. But we didn't get that. No, we had the slow horror of the, the mom's hand on her yeah. face slowly turning into something different. I mean, like, and then we had to wait. Like, oh god, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Like, they built the suspense so well yeah, and, and better than what would have been like a jump scare mm-hmm. because the slow change was just so much more powerful. Yeah, great way to say it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Um, let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, if you want all of our Diablo reactions, we have a playlist for you. So you should go ahead and check that out. Thanks so much for seeing our reaction for Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred official cinematic trailer, which keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.